Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Battalion Wars. Last time we went uh, behind enemy lines and, well, behind enemy lines to disrupt the Tundra invasion force in the western frontier. We made some pretty significant damage uh, to their forces, took out a motor pool, but now it's time for us to head off to good old Windbreak Ridge and take, uh, and be under the command of one of my all-time favorite CEOs in this series, good old Austin. The Frontier Radar Array at Windbreak Ridge is being harassed by Tundra and Recon vehicles in preparation for a major assault. Support the garrison there until reinforcements arrive. When are you going to give up? This is stalemate, father. Patience, Nova. The game is not over yet. Marshal Nova, there are reports of sporadic fighting across the demilitarized zone. What? The Western Frontier have broken the truce? Actually, no. Uh, forgive me, son. I could not stand to see you toss our proud Imperial history into the wastebasket of reformist peace magic. How dare you? The Tundran army is no longer yours to command. Nelly, take control of those units. It seems we are at war. You would replace me with her? This is an outrage! Colonel Austin at your service, Commander. The radar array at Windbreak Ridge has intercepted vital enemy transmissions, but it is now surrounded by Tundran forces. We need you to reinforce Windbreak Ridge before it falls into enemy hands. The Frontier are attempting to resupply the radar array. Stop them at once! Major Nelly, sounds like she means business, Commander. Let's get going. All right, boys, mount up. We're moving out. Sir, yes, sir. Move out to Windbreak Ridge and reinforce the radar array. Head for the Gold Star, Commander. Yes, sir. Looks All right, like boys, let, come on, let's go first. and make a slight Remember detour. Remember what General Herman taught you about flanking, Commander? All too well, Austin. All right, so we're going to take our boys on over here. Target the Tundrans over there and just going to use these fallen logs as makeshift cover. Since we hit, are hitting them in the flank. We're going to be able to do significantly more damage to them, and they won't be doing as much damage to us, although they are doing actually pretty significant damage to me. Which is why I'm going to go and take the fight to them. And I'm the only one that they decided to take uh, aim at, so cool. My boys uh, live to fight another day. Alright, boys. Uh, nope. Okay, cool. Uh, it's best if you do see any, like, barrels or ammo dumps around, uh, where enemy troops are. Best to target those first, because the explosion will more often than not be, able, be enough to do either significant damage or take them out altogether. Your grunts are no match for them. Get across that river! We're moving, we're moving! Our tiny little legs can only those move so fast, Austin. Those from the garrison at Windbreak Ridge. These boys have the firepower to neutralize the enemy recon. Your jacket is right here! Alright, boys. Let's move out. The vets have now joined your battalion. Tilt the C-stick left or right to cycle between unit types. Once the unit type is highlighted, tilt up or down on the C-stick to cycle between individual units. That right, boys, you need some help. We're good. All right, let's go. Button to control transfer into that unit. Bazooka veterans have an advanced weapon. Press and hold the A button to power up. All right, we're gonna drop our bazooka boys right there so they Once can cover the, the back wing to win break. The weapon will fire with For now, range. we're gonna take our grunts and reinforce the main garrison up here. As you have seen, frontier bazooka veterans are more than a match for enemy vehicles. And if you know how to play them well, infantry as well. Welcome to Windbreak Ridge, Commander. This base is garrisoned by the rifle grunts and bazooka veterans of Charlie Company. Lead the bazooka veterans to guard the entrance to the radar array. Oh yeah, I forgot that's technically considered the Select entrance. This is the back way into it. 
Then press the X button to put them in sentry mode. Uh, Grunt, you wanna go in there? There we go. To have your soldier leave his post, target the MG nest and press the X button. Rifle Squad 1, I command you to strike. Alright, just strategically pacing our boys around. Although it's gonna turn into a free for all any moment now. Oh, hold that thought, buddy. We got a ton of rooms to take care of. They probably should have sent vehicles this way instead of, you know, Nicely to the done, front entrance. Man. But stay alert. I have a feeling they are still searching for a weak spot in our defenses. Right, boys. Recon 2. Probe their defenses and report back to me with precise information on all their fortifications. All right, boys, let's get a move on. Got some recons to deal with. There are multiple vehicles approaching from the river. Get your bazooka veterans to the Silver Star. Oh, we'll be doing more than just shooting at you, buddy. Remember, the message log records each of my radio broadcasts. Use it when you need to remind yourself of your orders. Not bad, not bad at Good all. Good job, Commander. But there is a second wave of Tundan infantry ready to strike. Head for the Silver Star. Are your men in position, Colonel? Because here I come. Rifle Squad 2, attack! Yep, there they are. I see ya. Remember to use global mode for a broader perspective on the battlefield. Press any direction on the plus control pad. Toggle mode. All right, boys, come on, take him out. Who's left? Oh, that poor fool. Excellent work, Commander. But if I know the tongue, they are merely <coughs> gearing up for an even more devastating attack. All right, we keep our grunts over is, here. Colonel. For your sake, I hope you have men dug in on both sides of your radar. Take control of our bazookas again. Tons of recon vehicles approaching the main entrance, and more infantry attacking from the rear. They are trying to overwhelm us. Keyword try, Austin. Trust me, our bazooka boys can handle these things no problem. Right, let's go see how the grunts are doing. Chaotic! That that would be the word to describe this situation. Why did most of you break formation? Well done, what the hell? I did not think we could take this much punishment. You have defended yourselves courageously so far, but now I shall strike at the very heart of your defenses. You can try. Keyword try. T-copter incoming. Nelly means to fly her infantry directly inside the perimeter of the base. Yeah, try as you will, try as you might. Even if you brought bazooka vets up here, the Tundra T-copter is an actually straight up immune and will just heal itself. So you can't take out the squad that she tries to drop off right at the flag. Congratulations, Commander. Where are you, you guys going? The radar array long enough for reinforcements You're chasing after the, the T-copter, aren't you guys? Uh, Not you're so lucky fast, I love Colonel. you guys because you're have very simple-minded sometimes. Enemy light takes incoming. Get down to the river crossing. Yes, sir. All right, bring our reinforcements back. We got a little bit more of reinforcements with some grunts and a light tank. Uh, interesting thing to note about the light tank is the fact that this is the only time you ever see the light tank without a frontier gunner in it. Those tanks, Commander. I don't know. I always wonder why. I guess because it was more of a rapid deployment than like a, a full-on deployment. But whatever. While they do give us a tank to use, I don't think we need it. We can just handle it with our bazooka vets. And we're done. Incredible. I may have underestimated you, Colonel Austin. You cannot overestimate the tenacity of the Frontier Soldier, Major Nelly. That much is evident, Colonel Austin. We should convene under the white flag sometime to discuss tactics, of course. 
<coughs> Whatever does she mean by that, Commander? Oh, Austin. Poor, simple Austin. You're a great commander man, but man, you are dense when it comes to the ladies. And hey, check it out, full 100%. Pretty good on speed, pretty good on technique, and pretty good on power. But then again, we basically left no Tundra left standing aside from the T-Copter pilots. All right, save successful. And now the introduction to the Bazooka Vet. Armed with low recoil rocket launchers, the role is uh, mid-range anti-armor, but they are vulnerable to infantry. A few well-placed high explosive shells from a bazooka veteran can turn even the most impressive battle machine into a heap of smoking junk. Unfortunately, the projectiles have very low muzzle velocity and are relatively easy to dodge. Unless you fully charge it, in which case it actually uh, shoots out pretty fast and even infantry can't get away in time. Alright. Well, we had the good. It's time for the bad. Next time on Battalion Wars, we're gonna head off to one of my all-time favorite mechanics in the game, and also one of my all-time favorite missions in the game, Operation POW. See you guys next time. Later.